the overall crypto market has just flipped and it has a lot to do with what happened with BlackRock and major institutions in the US changing their stance on Bitcoin. So what we saw is that recently BlackRock filed for a spot Bitcoin ETF. And why this is important is because they have an over 99.5% acceptance rate when it comes to applying for ETFs in the US. If you look at the historical records, you can see that BlackRock has had 575 ETF applications approved versus only one that has not been approved. That is something that people are very excited about because there's been a lot of talk over the last few years about a Bitcoin spot ETF and nothing has happened yet. So now that we have seen BlackRock officially file for this ETF, there's been a lot of bullish news, a lot of excitement, and more institutions piling in. So today's video, I want to break down the most important things happening in the crypto market over the last few days. Should we be bullish right now on where crypto is, or should we be a little bit cautious? So a few things you need to be aware of, first of which is what's happened with BlackRock. Like I said, BlackRock filed for that Bitcoin spot ETF, and that is extremely bullish. And after we saw the file for a Bitcoin ETF, we have seen a wave of other institutions. We saw Wisdom Tree, Invesco, we saw Valkyrie, and many more institutions file for spot Bitcoin ETFs. Why this is important is because Wisdom Tree, for example, had filed for a spot Bitcoin ETF uh, a little while back, but they had been outright rejected. They actually had done this twice and been rejected twice. They were first rejected in December of 2020. 21 and then again rejected in October of 2022. So they believe that now that we've seen BlackRock file for this spot Bitcoin ETF, that they would have more success with their third application. So that is the first company. We saw Invesco also file for a spot Bitcoin ETF. And this is not their first time around either. They've tried to do multiple in the past. And now again, because of BlackRock, they have filed. I wanted to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our channel partner, Kudos Markets. Kudos Market solves two of the biggest problems in the crypto space that we currently have. And the first is that a lot of people know what Bitcoin is, a lot of people know what crypto is, but they don't necessarily know how it is produced or maybe don't have the time or money to get involved. And the second problem is that many people know what NFTs are, but the popular collections don't often add anything about the art itself and people are lost. Kudos Market solves both of these problems with hash rate collectibles. These collectibles are NFTs that provide Bitcoin rewards where holders will be able to play daily games to compete for more hash rate, ultimately making more money. The first hash rate collectibles on Kudos Markets are powered by 100% renewable energy and are from Blockmole, a crypto mining company. Responsible mining is core to Kudos Markets values and not only do hash rate collectibles cost less than cloud mining and they also save you the fuss of buying all the Bitcoin mining equipment, managing the hardware yourself, but they also are designed by award-winning digital artists artist deluxe three so you could show them off from your phone your computer or even hang them on the wall they scale to a resolution of over two meters this is the genesis collection of kudos markets there will only be one first collection ever only one genesis collection so make sure to go ahead and get yours when the public sale opens use my link in the description and check out the hash rate collectibles on kudos markets today anyways let's get back to the program in addition to this, we've seen Valkyrie. Valkyrie has applied for multiple spot Bitcoin ETFs in the past, only to be rejected. Now they've officially applied again. And we've seen more and more companies as well, like Bitwise Asset Management and a few others. So this has all caused the entire market to bounce incredibly. We could see that Bitcoin on the weekly time frame has bounced very nice off of this support that we have talked about over the last few months. We have not changed this chart at all, and we can see that it bounced off very nicely off of this $25,000 per coin range, where you can see right here. The thing that I had said over the last few weeks, even when we were in middle of March uh, and early April, we had talked about how Bitcoin needed to close on the weekly charts above 32,100 in order to confirm a bullish outlook in the long term. If we're able to see Bitcoin close above 31, like 32,100, right around there, that would be extremely bullish. And I would expect a big push up to $40,000 per coin very, very quickly 
after we saw that weekly close. So if you are investing right now, I am still a bit hesitant on where we are going in the next few weeks. We are still in this consolidation range that we have been for the last few months now. We have not seen any break of any major resistance. We have not broken below any major support. So right now we are still in that consolidation phase. Don't expect much more movement. We've still been between 25,000 and around $31,000 per coin. So keep an eye out on that $32,100 per coin level on the weekly charts. If we see a weekly close above that, we very well should expect to see a rise up to $40,000 per coin and even new record highs very soon. Last few things I wanna go over are not just with Bitcoin ETFs, but we've seen a few other major catalysts. Last week, we saw that Charles Schwab Citadel and um, Fidelity investment backed company called EDX Markets, which is a new cryptocurrency exchange, officially launched. So, this is a big deal because we're seeing a crypto exchange in the US backed by Citadel, Fidelity, Charles Schwab, some of the biggest asset companies in the world, asset managers in the world, and financial companies in the world. Are backing this. This is extremely bullish because there's been a lot of regulatory issues with Coinbase and Binance and many others in the US. But seeing that a new cryptocurrency exchange has just launched that is backed by some of the biggest names in the financial space, this is extremely bullish as well. Could make it easier for uh, investors to get involved in the crypto space because that has been the problem in the US, not only with institutions, but with retail investors, with all the regulatory crackdowns as of recently, people have been worried, but this makes you a little less worried on the future of crypto in the US. And last thing I do want to go over is going to be with outside of the US because while things are looking completely different in the US, a lot better than they were just two weeks ago, we need to talk about what's going on outside of the US because recently Deutsche Bank applied for a digital asset asset custody li license in Germany. Germany's largest bank, Deutsche Bank, worth over $1.3 trillion in assets under management. They officially applied for this digital asset custody platform license. This is a big deal. It allows them to get more and more into the digital asset and crypto space. And this is something that we're continuing to see, not just in the US, not just in Germany, but more and more countries around the world. So while the crypto market has turned more bullish just in the last week alone, there are a few things you just need to be aware of on the technical fronts. Like I said, that $32,000 per coin level for for Bitcoin. But other than that, if we were to see a Bitcoin spot, uh, a spot Bitcoin ETF approved in the US, that would be one of the best catalysts we have seen. And that would surely trigger a massive rally in the next wave of the bull market in the crypto space.